Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can avoid getting your crop stuck in the bottom of another paper pot flat. So one thing I noticed early on when I started doing microgreens in the uh, paper pot flats is because they have so many holes on the bottom, let me just show you, there's so many holes for drainage on that, which is actually a great thing. The, ch the challenge can be is that when you stack your flats like so, when the, when the ones underneath grow, they'll actually start growing through the holes and then you'll pull your flats off and it makes a mess. It destroys your crop essentially. So I've got two fixes on how we've learned to solve this problem. The first one is really simple and it's actually what we've changed to with everything uh, doing with these is it's timing. You have, to, you have to uncover them at the perfect time. For us, it's four days after harvest. So if we plant on a Monday, just like this, these have been planted and watered in, we gotta uncover them on a Friday. If you leave it till Saturday or Sunday and you uncover, they're gonna be grown through and it makes a mess. The other way you can do it is cut yourself a sheet of coroplast. Um, you know, you could use other types of materials as well. Basically something plastic that can get wet and will last. And then you can just cover your flat with that. And you, you know, you, you could do each one if you want. So you put that coroplast down, put another flat on top, and then do the same thing. Another sheet of coroplast. <laughs> you can see I've got many of these because this is actually what we did for a while. But we found that it's just easier to get your timing. If you got your timing right, then it's not an issue. So what I'm gonna do here, this video is gonna be a time-based video, and I'm gonna go ahead and do both. So I will um, do this. So this is two crops of broccoli microgreens. One doesn't have the coroplast, and then this one does, and then I'll do the same thing here. I'll do, uh, this is two, sh um, purple kohlrabi microgreens. I'll do the same thing there. One doesn't have it and then one has the coroplast. I'll stack them both together. We'll put an empty flat on top just like we normally do and then I'll put a brick on top of there and I'll come and uncover these uh, four days after I've planted these and then we'll, we'll circle back and see how it is then. Now another reason you might want to do the coroplast at least on your top is for this reason. If you have a brick like this or some kind of weight in your flat, these holes ventilate so well, especially when you get into the summer season where it's drier and warmer, you're gonna have all the seeds underneath this brick will germinate just fine and then the rest of them won't. So, you know, you could still justify putting a coroplast sheet on the top and that's exactly what we use them for now is just for the top, if we're doing a stack, we put the top one with the coroplast. If you also had a holeless flat, it would essentially be the same thing. Or if you've done what some other growers have done is they've filled their flats up with concrete mix and just made those for the intent of laying on top, that would work as well. It would accomplish the same thing. But we, we had all these bricks. We keep them by our microgreen state, our, 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 our um, germinating station and so, the coroplast sheets work fine for us on the top and then the brick. So anyways, we'll check back in four days and see how these have done and I will show you a trick to uncover them correctly. Okay, here's what we started. So on the top, that we had our brick but then we had this sheet of coroplast and then so right there, that's easy enough, but you gotta have a coroplast for each flat, which might get excessive. And then, so this is kohlrabi underneath it that's, I'm timing it well. So this is um, three days from when we planted them. If I left those on another day, uh, I had have a, I'd have a trick to get them off safely, but if I left them two days, they'd be point, uh, past the point of saving. So that one comes up. So right underneath here we've got, this is our broccoli. So coroplast obviously works well there. But now if you look, 
there's a bit of stickiness here. So there's a bit of stickiness to this. Like if I yank it, it might wreck it. So what I'm, the trick here is, is you grab the top flat and shake it, but not the bottom one. And so you're trying to create a twisting motion, a twisting motion like this. And then this will, so in an ideal world, you want to get your timing right. So this broccoli should have been uncovered yesterday, but it wasn't. So I've got a bit of this stickiness, so I'm just going to wiggle it. And hopefully, you know, you're only going to make this mistake once and you're not going to have to do this all the time, but this is basically how you save it. So you just twist and twist and twist and you'll feel it get loose and looser. So then now you'll see, I just make sure that, there we go, saved it. You can see the roots underneath the flat here. And that's what would have been partly sticking into this. But this will also grow through this, and that's, that's where the, the risk is, and that's where you can really damage it. But if you can get it before that, and you get these roots sticking in here, just this twisting motion will get it off and save it. So that's it, that's how we do it. Now, this is a new channel, a new, a new paper pot channel, and we wanna hear back from you guys. Like, throw us your questions. Um, we're gonna certainly make videos on the most, fr the frequently most asked questions, but if we get questions that pose something interesting to us that we go, oh, I don't know about that, let's check it out. We'll make videos like that too. So subscribe to the channel, share and like them, and we'll see you guys later. Well, well, well.